is it that, and how is it that you going around talking about this purposeful living? And I remind them, I got sent to the desert. Anybody in here been to the desert? Anybody in here in the desert? I picked this picture for you so that you would never forget that in times of desolation, some wonderful things can happen to you. In 2002, my husband got a job offer in Hobbs, New Mexico. Anybody ever been? I didn't think so. And I said, Hobbs, New Mexico? What in the world? Well, I reckon we can go look and see. So we flew into Midland, Texas, right outside of Lubbock. And we drove into New Mexico in the middle of the night. We stayed at the Holiday Inn, and I think it was probably the only little hotel out there at the time. And the next morning I got up, and I opened up the curtains. I was looking out at nothing. And what nothing to do <laughs> But that little voice in me said, do it. That little voice whispered, it's the right thing, do it. And my head said, this makes no sense at all. But my heart said, yes. Now you've got that same voice. It's the one told you not to do something, you did it anyway. How'd that work out? That's the same one. So watch and listen to the wooings that come to you. So I said, okay, kids are grown and gone, let's go. So off we went. First year or two, I had a new house, new culture, new food, new weather. By that third year, I said, Lord, why have you sent me to the desert? And about that time, I lost my papa. And if anybody in here has lost somebody that's part of who you are, then you understand. But at that moment in my life, I said, there's got to be more to life than this. Surely, there's more to this. And what I came to know was that I had to be sent to the desert. Because I was working it. Anybody in here working it? Jobs? I had two. Organizations? Ten. Probably president of four. School? Well, certainly I was in school. Then had the dogs and the cats and the kids and the shopping centers and the malls. I was working it. I had to be sent to a place that the scriptures call open and spacious and quiet so that I could get still enough to hear it. 